Uh, isn't uh, Cook's Chef John's whatever? That's Chef. Food Wishes. Yeah, Food Wishes. That's a beautiful, beautiful so. Oh, no, this is America's Test Kitchen. Okay, got it wrong then. So this is the important book. David's actually simultaneously recording this on my handy cam and his iPhone. And I apologize for the next one. Well, bam. Exactly. What? Bachelorette? Yes, yeah, so and we covered a lot about the Bachelorette here on TRR and on the channel. S S S S S S D D T. No, Sebastian Slayer's Day, when a boy gets bored, yeah. No, we haven't covered those. Why? Why no, were you cover that? And on uh, your channel, I'm just really And what about, about, about baby? What about the three AG sisters? You know that the channel got, you know that the there no videos in there anymore. She deleted them. <laughs> well, at least we got them here for viewing. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to take a break. Come back, and we'll get started with the day's activities. And TR. All right, stop that. All right. All right. See you later. You're back. Um, so. David actually had to turn the music down a bit. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we're still in the car. And uh, today what we have to do is to get New Year's Eve party hats and supplies and glasses for David's New Year's Eve party at Leo's house. And we're still in here. Um, keeping me company is David's mom, Linda. The Cook's Illustrated, David himself. And Caitlin and Sean. Apologies. I just can't help myself. Plus, I know a couple of clever girls who are interested. What did you do? Nothing, man. I'm still recording. I thought you, st I thought you stopped because I heard a sound. Oh, well. Well, for those in the audience of David Romero, this is what I'm using as well to record Romero well, Roundup and the set skills start, so I have a lot of editing to do. The Sony Handycam with a projector on it, it allows, um, you know, it allows excellent video quality and sound quality, and it's really, really neat. So I'm actually simultaneously recording this with David's iPhone. That's David's iPhone right there. Uh, we're both recording each other right now. Um, That's what they're here right now? Really neat. That's what they're here right now. Well, you know what? Uh, Patterson is not a town where, you know, people are subject to uh, being photographed a lot. Pete, um, uh -huh. what are you going to say? What you going to say? It's New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, course. you forgot about that? It is New Year's Eve, and we covered that before. David's doing his annual New Year's Eve countdown right. at Leo's house. DR181, we'll cover that on TRR, and we'll get some footage in of the ball drop for 2016. Which is in 10 hours. But we got stuff to do beforehand. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you can stop now. Alright, wait, we have to say, we're about to close this video. Thanks for watching. And. Good day. And Happy New Year! Shut it up! <laughs> I know some of you DR91 fans will be angry at me for buying something about the Bachelorette. That's partly why I bought it. But I found this really interesting piece about YouTube superstars in the People magazine for August 10, 2015. It's the editor's letter from Jess Cagle. YouTube superstars. And I'll read it to you in its entirety. If you record here. Sure. Actually, let me hold this. Thank you. YouTube superstars. Last weekend, about 20,000 fans converged on Anaheim, California to see and screen for their favorite online video stars at the annual VidCon conference. Among the fan favorites, Tyler Oakley, Cassie Ho, and Justine Ejeric, aka I Justine. YouTube talents like these have become as popular and influential, influential as traditional stars of movies or TV, particularly with younger viewers, with their own personal narratives and, in some cases, their own multimedia empires. They also have a remarkable ability to engage audiences by being themselves. At this year's VidCon, we interviewed dozens of YouTube stars at the People Entertainment Weekly stage and saw firsthand how deeply they had touched the lives of their fans and a hard, most of them try to convey positive messages 
to that teen audiences. Teen audiences. Watching hundreds of fans watch the stage after every interview, you couldn't help but wonder about these stars' futures. This is where I hope to be. As a big time YouTube celebrity, well, in the city of Patterson, I could also count David as being a big time YouTube celebrity. On the stage at VidCon that summer in Anaheim, California, all playlists live in Washington, D.C., which is where they'll be having it in 2016. This is exactly at the stage where I want to be. And I think I could speak for David and all of us at RCTV as well. Big time YouTube stars have a lot of fans. We only have a decent amount of fans, but that's you. So, in a way, we're not like these guys, but we are a bit like these guys because we produce quality programming that engages and entertains audiences. And if that can get some screaming fans on our side, mm -hmm. I'm all for continuing. For me, David, for all of us at RCTV, and, and the whole team. for you. And the whole team. All right. Alright. I wanted this bus to sound like cymbals when you crash them, most like in the television. They don't, disappointedly. Again. And these are the different sizes. Stop it. And you do have the same size as this all right. No, this is different sizes again. Oh, okay. Thank you. We're here in a pale as soup sauce right now. Um, we have discussed in the, again about who will record what. I was recording the um, B roll footage. David will get the main segments. And even the heck didn't go well. So he said he would film inside, I would film outside. I'm going to tell you a quick story here. They had the banner. You remember the new Cool Suits video I, I posted here a couple of years ago? They had this banner of Shake It Up with Rocky and Cece. Lord knows how much I'm obsessed with that So I even want music for the clips. <laughs> that banner is no longer there. But if you saw the video, David, you knew about the Shake It Up Suits. It don't happen anymore. No. But when I saw the banner, I freaked because I'm absolutely obsessed with Shake It Up. I'm a ballerino and a Z-Swagger at once. So you can imagine how I felt. Did you see the video? Well, I reckon that you did. Okay. No.